Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today partnering with Figma to help teachers transition from Jamboard to FigJam. Today, let's compare the two apps toolbars. So in Jamboard, you have your, your pen, your ink tools there. You have an eraser, a select tool. You have a sticky note tool, an image tool, shapes, and there are eight shapes, a text tool, and a laser pointer that I never really use when I use Jamboard, but okay. Now, in FigJam, the toolbar is at the bottom center, so it's centered, and there's a select tool, but also a hand tool so that you can navigate and move around without editing the FigJam. There is a marker tool that has a marker, highlighter, washi tape, which is so much fun, such a fun tool, and eraser, and the ability to add colors to the various tools there. There is your sticky notes. The shapes menu is very robust because you see these shapes here, and that looks similar to Jamboard. But then when you click on flowchart, look at that. There's way more. And even under miscellaneous, you have really powerful shapes, including arrows and, and a speech bubble. So that's pretty nice as well. Additionally, there's a straight line tool and a connector tool. And these, oh, these tools, you'll see them actually in action right here. This green is one of those connectors. I love the connectors and you can even write text in them. As you see here, connectors are very, very powerful. Additionally, there's a text tool and a section tool. And the section tool is this really nice thing where you can put content into one section. You can rename it and then you can even hide sections. Sections are really nice for cordoning off different activities inside a Fig Jam. Additionally, there is a table tool and a stamp tool, which gives you stamps and emotes where you can put your stamps on the canvas, but also emotes where you can just temporarily give a reaction that your other participants see. Lastly, at the very right end of the toolbar is the very powerful plus button. Click that button and there you'll see stickers, wonderful for giving students feedback, templates, add any template or search to find templates to add to your fig jams, widgets, which are wonderful external tools, so are plugins, and then the more button, which gives you code block, but essentially a timer, media to add images, and another way to add hyperlinks to a fig jams. Before I go, I do want to shout out my partner, Figma. If you want to get started with fig jam in the classroom, go to figma.com slash education. If you want to use any of those templates, but curated specifically for education, go to figma.com slash education and see what you can use in the classroom today. And if you just want to try out FigJam and play with all the features in the toolbar, type figjam.new into your web browser. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy transitioning from Jamboard to FigJam.